Okay, so that's the tub that we're gonna put the fish in, right? Mm -hmm. And then hopefully with no dogs, and we're gonna filter it as it comes in, pump it all the way out of the swimming pool over there. Okay, and then we gotta worry about dogs climbing in it, right? Yeah, so we need to put some kind of cover on top of it. And then we're gonna use that little pump right there with that piece of hose to put a little bit more oxygen in it. And as we fill it right now, we're gonna splash the water in so that it um, keeps it good, keeps it uh, oxygenated, right? Yep, and that's the little pump, and it's working, right? Good. Hear it, hear it? Yeah, I do. Eventually, we will have water coming in through the pipe, and we'll screen both ends of that pipe, get that quasi-buried and set up, and then this little ditch, pretty wide, will be a bit of a settling pool. There's a little bit of a um, dam there, so it'll settle out all this stuff. This whole thing will be lined. Put a couple different levels in there, some nice boots. I'll go get them. Yeah, and then, you know, we'll use that carpet to line around to make sure that we don't have any rocks down there. I've already tamped it pretty flat and pulled out most rocks. Okay, so this is the inside of the pond, getting ready for the liner. Um, and what I did, I was gonna like just wrap it over the top, throw some rocks on top, but I decided instead I would uh, chop off a shelf for it to stack rocks. So what it's gonna do before is just wrap, you know, right up over the top the wrap, um, the liner and then stack rocks around the edge all the way around and put some rocks in there too to hold it but now I decided since the liner's not coming I would uh, ran a string across found level marked with some pin flags so I know where that it's at and that's about the top of the pond a couple inches above the top of the of the uh, fill but anyway chopped about two foot back with, in the grass all the way around and now I'm going to chop at the height of all those pin flags that oops, all these pin flags that go all the way around so that there's a shelf. And then I'll find flat rocks because definitely have some of those around. Um, and that will hold it down so it'll be a bit of a bank, if you will, like a sharp transition. But I think that's going to work. I think it'll be a little bit nicer than just wrapping it over. If I just wrapped it over, I think I'm gonna have dirt and stuff falling back into the pond over time, plus potential of getting holes in it from animals stepping on it. With the rocks, I think it'll be protected and it'll still line it well. Okay, so it's probably 30, 45 minutes later, sun came out. Um, I cut the top down all the way around the rim and then also drug the liner into the pond put some carpet down underneath it to protect it pretty silty don't really have rocks but why not right um we'll see how that goes i'm gonna lay it in okay so got the liner in got my hired help over there hired meaning free um so now we'll slowly tighten this up to get out whatever folds we can and then begin to put pleats in it and then uh, temporarily I'll just hold it down with a few larger rocks until we get some water in it and then as water comes in I'll come back out and revisit it and make sure that it's um, looking correct, right? I'm not sure how to do all the pleats, but we'll do it. And then somehow I'm gonna transition from the pond liner to the concrete that I was putting in. I think I'm gonna do the last little bit of different, differently than what I've been doing, but either way that should go pretty fast. And then once it's in, I think we'll be set, we golden. Oh, Jesus. Well, oh well. Okay, up to a stopping point. Um, got the liner in there. A couple places we might need to do some folds over here, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and then slice that blade in the ditch, and then I'll just, um, I'll get that in there a little bit better, but then continue the concrete over, overlap it by a foot or two or whatever. Just so it's overlapped. And that should give me a little settling pool to settle out the stuff so that my sprinklers don't get all plugged up. And then we'll see how it goes from there. 
but pretty stoked so far. So it'll be a couple weeks before I come back to um, adjusting the liner itself. All right, cool.